You know, one of the things that happens when we embark on a healthy lifestyle change is we ask ourselves, how often do we need to hop on that scale? everyone in today's video we'll talk about the number on the scale for those of you who don't know me my name is dr inaka yembe i am a board certified family medicine physician currently specializing in obesity medicine here in louisiana you know one of the things that happens when we embark on a healthy lifestyle change is we ask ourselves how often do we need to hop on that scale and check our progress now the answer is not always that simple should we weigh ourselves every day or every week or every month should we even weigh ourselves at all i have several patients who come to the clinic they don't weigh themselves at home. They say, I was just waiting to come in here and weigh myself. So what's the correct answer? Now, the answer is just not that simple. It is a little bit tricky. Now, the main thing to remember is that the scale, the number on the scale is not the only way that we can gauge whether or not we are headed in the right direction. The scale simply to me is a tool that can help us move towards our goal. Now, what does the research say? The majority of the research, actually there was a study presented in the American Heart Association in one of their recent scientific sessions that said, that suggested that we need to weigh ourselves daily. And that research actually tracked about a thousand adults over a year and they found out that people who weighed themselves once a week or, or less did not lose the weight however those who weighed themselves six or seven times a week actually averaged about a 1.7 weight loss now tracking your weight actually gives you some degree of accountability I think because when you step on the scale you actually have some mental feedback to yourself that says hmm this is direction in which I'm going it can be a source of motivation it can tell you oh wow oh gosh you know what I am starting to see some change what do I do personally now my lifestyle story for those of you who know me um, of you who don't know me is that I used to I was born at 10 pounds and it seems like I was destined to be overweight right from birth at a certain point my weight blossomed over 300 pounds and I struggled and struggled and over the past four years I've succeeded in losing 121 pounds one of the things that helps me personally to give me that mental feedback is that I step on the scale every single time that I see one it doesn't matter to me what time of the day it is but again that's what works for me there is no one size fits all when it comes to losing weight and staying healthy but back to our question what really is the ideal schedule for weighing oneself? Because there can be some drawbacks in stepping on the scale too often for some people. Some people get so creeped up by the number that they see and I dare say that it's not only the number that they see that creeps them out, it's actually what you're telling yourself when you see that number on the scale. So here's my advice. I advise you to focus on the trends that you see. Is your weight trending up or is it trending down? Why do I say that? Because your weight can vary depending on the time of the day, 
on the period of the month on whether you ate something or whether you didn't eat on how active you were it just depends on so many things it even varies from scale to scale so what that means is you may weigh yourself at home and come to the doctor's office and the scale is different what I want you to do is focus on a trend now get your own scale weigh yourself around the same time every single day and I suggest that it's best to weigh yourself in the morning first thing in the morning because your weight is most consistent first thing in the morning now it may vary from day to day but I recommend that you follow a weekly trend what was your weight last week what is your weight this week focus on a trend and not the specific number variation from day to day today so what I tell my patients in the clinic is that I want to see if you are in my weight loss clinic I want to see an average weight loss of one to two pounds overall per week and not that daily variation now it is helpful if you're not too creeped out or if you're not too discouraged to weigh yourself every day again it reminds your mind that you are on a specific lifestyle change and helps you to stay in momentum another thing that I learned also during my personal journey was to make up my mind before I step on the scale so when I wake up in the morning I already know what I weighed last night because I stepped on the scale before I went to sleep but in the morning I know my weight is more accurate and I start to tell myself before I step on the scale I make up my mind how I'm going to react based on the number I think ahead of time what I'm going to tell myself what feedback I'm going to sell tell myself in case my weight went up then I start to think I put in some measures and tell myself okay so this is what's happening now and this is what I'm going to do the last thing that you want to do is to discourage yourself based on the number that you see at the time why do I say that because your weight is not only the indication of progress in fact there are several other indicators of progress or of success that you may want to think about for example how are your energy levels are your energy levels getting better now that you are on a healthy lifestyle change how do you feel do you feel better now that you're eating more healthy foods how do your clothes fit are your clothes fitting better that's an indication of progress how are you sleeping are you sleeping better what about your numbers at the doctor's office for example your blood pressure your blood sugar your blood cholesterol if those are getting better that's actually a great indication of success that you're heading in the right direction what about your body fat percentage is that getting better what about your waist measurement? For men, we recommend that your waist circumference should be less than 40 centimeters, and for women, less than 35. Are those getting smaller? These are all indicators of success and not only the scale. Why do I say that? Because you may lose one pound of fat and gain one pound of muscle so in the meantime you may actually be slightly heavier just because because you gained that much muscle so bottom line different things work for different people but again my message to you today is use the scale as an indicator of progress that you are headed in the right direction but don't let the number on the scale completely discourage you look at all other non-scale victories i hope some of these tips really resonate with you and help you along your healthy lifestyle journey if you found this information helpful go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit that subscription button and also the notification bell so that each time I put out a video like this then you are notified I do wish you the best of success in your healthy lifestyle change listen if you want to hear more tips like this or if you have any other suggestions put them in the comments below and I will come back and bring you some of the information based on the research that I'm doing and based on the information that I've gained from the Association of Obesity Medicine all right
Thank you, and I wish you all the success in your health and wellness journey.